chilling tales for dark nights. The following audio production is sponsored by Costume Supercenter. Birthday at Freddy's. Credited to Automaton. Narrated and produced by Jonathan Jones. You know... Parents are always finding new ways to entertain or enrich their kids. In fact, the earliest years are the most important in a child's life when it comes to developing their young mind. This was no different for me. My mom would always take me to the arcades, complete with all sorts of top-of-the-line games, or the parks with the jungle gyms that were always scolding hot for being in the sun all day. There weren't too many options to choose from, but for what they were, those were what made up my fondest childhood memories. As a treat for my seventh birthday, my mom took me to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. It was supposed to be a fun little place, from what I can remember. A magical place for kids and grown-ups alike. Where fantasy and fun come to life, or, or something like that. It, it looked really promising, to be honest with you, and... I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited about going there. The pizza was what you'd expect, lazily put together and didn't quite taste right. But you didn't go for the food. You went to see Freddy Fazbear and his gang of colorful friends, Bonnie the Bunny and Chica the Chick. There was Foxy, too. He lived in the Pirate Cove. Thinking back on it now, the animatronics were pretty good for the time. They had full body movement when singing on stage, and even Foxy moved around quite a bit on his little pirate ship. In fact, I remember that after a few songs, Freddy and friends would come off the stage and walk around, interacting with the kids. They would walk up to the kids and say things like, How's the pizza? Good, I bet. Or, or, are you having fun? I know I am. I remember that Foxy always said, It's me. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> it was cute. To keep the kids entertained, there would be little games they'd play, like Follow the Freddy, which was just follow the leader. Or, or Foxy's Treasure Hunt, where kids would be given small trinkets and, and Foxy would chase after them like a game of tag. I remember I had finished my slice of pizza and asked if I could play the Treasure Hunt game with Foxy. My mom said it was okay, so I got up and one of the workers gave me a tiny, palm-sized treasure chest. I was actually really excited. Foxy was my favorite. Me and about six other kids were given small treasures, and that's when Foxy jumped off the pirate cove. He yelled, It's me! I'm gonna get ya! And that's when we all scrambled. It was great fun. I looked over my shoulder and saw Foxy chasing around the other kids, and at one point, he even almost got me. Boy, Foxy was fast. I didn't quite know why at the time, but while I was in the middle of playing the treasure hunt game, my mom lifted me up abruptly and carried me swiftly toward the exit. She said things like, We've got to go right now, and we never should have come here. I'd never heard such urgency in her voice before. I thought that maybe it was because some kids started crying when Foxy caught them. They had screamed really loud and started sobbing. I remember that a bunch of parents rushed over. There was all sorts of commotion and noise, but I was too busy having fun to notice that anything was wrong. But now that I think of it, I do remember that as my mom carried me through the exit, I saw Foxy standing above the body of the kid he had caught. He was staring right at me, with crimson liquid dripping from his sharp teeth. It's me! I'm gonna get ya!
Thanks for listening. The preceding audio production was sponsored by Costume Supercenter, your one-stop shop for costumes, party supplies, and more, delivered right to your door. For a super selection at super low prices for every occasion, visit www.costumesupercenter.com.